Hey people, what is the little dangly thing on a turkey's neck called? Let us know down below. Thank you. Questions with Jay. Hello and welcome to another reading vlog on this uh, <laughs> week's episode. Mom's driving again. How do you feel about uh Oh, it's weird. Today we're going thrifting instead of studying for our test tomorrow. Uh, because it's 50% off day at Value Village. So we're going to three different Value Villages. Are we yes, we okay. are. Realistically, here, I we're know. going to be buying books. It's supposed to just be you clothes. You are going to be buying books. Yes, that's what I just said. You said we. We are a unit. We don't go right. with what, yes. You should know this by now, we are one. We have completed store number one. It wasn't that long, it was like an hour and a bit. And then now we have to go to the bank and then get food and then there's two more thrift stores. <laughs> I only spent $23, which is pretty good for me at a thrift store. Last stop of the day. Third one. Third one. Jay spent $60 in the last one. Mom only spent 20, but that's okay. Are you excited? Store number three, <laughs> done! And we spent $130 in total. in total. We only spent $50 in there, but that was because books. If I didn't buy books. So you spent 60, 50, and 20. Yes, we got 11 books and then a lot of clothes. 130 is not that bad. I don't think so. We done good, high five. She only has one hand to drive, so. And she's turning, it doesn't work. Have <laughs> Bye. So we are at Bennett's, the most wonderful place in the entire world because they have pie. Oh, Why do we shop? Pie at and cornbread. So? We shop at Bennett's because mommy knows the owner. And they make good pie. And cornbread. <laughs> you support local farmers. And they make really good pie and cornbread. So. And apple cider. And pie and cornbread. Don't you go back on your change word. Change your tune, mother, Missy. I'm disappointed in you. You're not teaching me good values. Telling me we're gonna do one thing, then changing it up. Mm. Jay, interesting. Jay <laughs> you turned into the she devil this morning. You wanna know why, people? This lady, and I this decided I was gonna be nice me. and clear the snow off the car, and she gave my seat away to my brother. So really, give whose it. fault is this? Give it away. It's yeah, but not... you didn't go, hey, Curtis J was sitting there. No, you were like, oh, just give him the seat. Just give him the seat. It's fine. It's so fine. Did, I don't want to sit beside you. And what did you do to me when I said that? Throw the snow at you. Exactly. You brought and this then, upon yourself. And then she's turned into a she-devil. You told me we were getting coffee, and now you're taking the coffee away from That's me? Stupid. This is your own fault. Mommy is sending me to my death. So you're going to blame to me for this, too? To write my test. That I didn't study for because we went thrifting and I played word with friends with mom all night. Ha! Priorities. Our next stop will be Clarkson. Thank you. It's Wednesday and I just realized I haven't even updated you guys on what I've been reading and this is a reading vlog so I should probably do that. I finished a book last night, Time Between Us by Tamara Ireland Stone and I'm gonna give it a three out of five stars. It wasn't that good in my opinion. It's about this girl who lives in 1995 and she meets a boy named Bennett and he has the ability to time travel and he's actually from 2012 and it's basically they fall in love and then he disappears. It was mediocre at best so. And then I'm also reading Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson and I'm like 200 out of 360 pages or something like that and I'm actually really liking it. I could hear you coming. Could you? What do you Hi. Doing? Oh, your progress? Yes. What is it? Did I suggest that one? No. No. Well, you picked it from the thrift store, so I mean technically. Technically, I pick all her books now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm ready whenever you're ready. What, what are we doing? We're going to the bulk food store. Oh, okay. Does that make you happy? That means chocolate. What's beside the bulk food store? Tally! Which means Which books. <gasps> more boots. Mm -hmm. I'll just okay. update and then. That's fine. It follows this woman who was in an accident where she can't form new memories. So every time she goes to sleep, she basically erases the entire day. So she wakes up every day thinking that she's like 29, but she's actually like 40 by now. She has a husband who she doesn't know, and it's basically her trying to figure out her life every single day. But she's been seeing this doctor, and he makes her write this journal and in the first page of the journal is saying not to trust her husband and so it's kind of like the story of her trying to figure out why she shouldn't trust her husband and yada 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 but it's actually really good and it's kind of funny because it's told in like the journal entries that she's been writing and the chapter that I'm on today is Wednesday 
November 21st, which is today's date. So I was like, <gasps> oh my goodness, crazy coincidence. And then since I finished the Tamara Ireland Stone book, I started All Is Not Forgotten by Wendy Walker. And this book is graphic. It's about a rape and this procedure where basically they can wipe your memory so you don't remember it. It's them trying to find her rapist but since she had the procedure she can't remember anything but then she starts remembering things and it's like all this jazz but I'm only like 60 pages into it so I'm not very far but so far it's pretty good. But anyways I'm gonna go to the bulk food store with my mother apparently so. <laughs> from lunch with Rafardo. He got me a Starbucks because he's an angel baby unicorn. So I have about an hour before I have to go to work for the night. So I'm probably just gonna read until then. I made it to page 300 of Before I Go to Sleep on the train yesterday and it is getting really good. I think I have it figured out on what's gonna happen, but I'm not 100% sure. I have like 60 pages-ish left. So I'm gonna get as much as that done as I can before I leave for work and then I also figured I'd update you on the other book that I have and it's all is not forgotten and I made it to like 200 I think of this one 186 uh it's very graphic like I said it's about a rape and it's like describing it and just it's a lot to deal with because she's having like flashbacks and memories that she's not supposed to have and it's just Ooh, it's, it's intense, that's all I'm gonna say, but it's really good and a huge twist just happened and I'm like sitting there like, what? It's also really cool because it's told from like the therapist's point of view, which I've never seen that before, so it's kind of cool to see that aspect of it. Definitely enjoying it, hoping that I can finish it probably this weekend. It's 1.30 on Saturday now and I've spent pretty much my entire morning just studying for one out of my two final exams that are happening on Thursday. I'm not 100% sure if I'm like worried about this exam because like it's only 25%. It's super heavily based off of articles that the professor assigned to us and I hate articles and so I'm trying to like get them all and like summarize them because I read them all during the semester but like some of them I read in September, right? So like I don't remember a lot of the details so I'm just trying to like figure out how to study for this test and then I have my second final exam on that Thursday which I'm not really that worried about because it's a lot of common sense stuff it's all about like relationships and attachment figures and all that kind of jazz so like it's a lot of common sense stuff so I'm not really worried about that one it's more the one that I've been studying for but I figured I would update you guys on my reading because I'm probably not gonna do any more today I finished before I go to sleep last night and I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. I was able to like figure out what the big twist was. It was kind of obvious but it was still a really entertaining story. Apparently it's a movie also so I'm kind of wanting to watch the movie but I'm not gonna be able to until after my exams so depressing but it has Nicole Kidman in it so I mean like it must be a Hollywood movie so I'm kind of intrigued. We're gonna see how that goes. I started The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Otter at work yesterday. I read The Raven Boys so long ago, like I'm pretty sure I read it last year that I forgot a lot of the details so I'm kind of confused with what's going on but I am only 50 pages in so I'm assuming I'll figure it out. Get I out! <laughs> really? Woe is me? Yes, I'm trying to vlog. <laughs> Let me vlog in peace. Yeah, you heard me. Give me that look. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more reading for probably this whole week because of the two exams and I'm an idiot and agreed to work Sunday, Monday, I have class on Tuesday, and Wednesday I work so yeah pretty much today is the only day that I can study so we're gonna go do that and hope for the best. It's now Sunday at 5, I just got home from work and I figured I would update you guys on what I finished 
today because I got to listen to my audiobook while I was setting up rooms. So I finished All Is Not Forgotten by Wendy Walker and I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Man, like this book was brutal and intense but so good. I did not see the ending coming. I had so many theories and they were all completely wrong but it was so good. So I definitely recommend it but like a million trigger warnings for rape because it was super graphic so like maybe if that's one of your triggers like definitely do not pick up this book but if it's not then recommended because it was real good real intense I liked it and then the audiobook that I'm gonna be starting next week after my exams are all done is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert I haven't actually started it the bookmarks just in it but I've heard mixed things about this so I'm pretty excited to see what I'm gonna think of it but like I said, I need to actually study for my two exams on Thursday. So there's not going to be a reading vlog up next week because I'm literally just going to be working and studying until Thursday. I asked you guys on Twitter if you guys wanted Vlogmas and you guys said yes again this year. So that's going to be happening. So I guess that's the return of the vlogs because there's no point in doing reading vlogs weekly if I'm doing vlogmas so you'll just get daily vlogs instead but I have to go shower and then I'm gonna study so I will see you guys in my next video goodbye